Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on this gorgeous little love heart lacy swatch. Ah, oh, isn't it gorgeous? I love, love, love. Now this, um, this swatch that we are working on is part of a swatch blanket for 2021. Um, that blanket we will be creating at the end of the year and throughout the year we are doing many swatches. Actually we are doing 25 swatches all right so this is what we are up to at the moment we have done two already so if you are joining us new and you would like to do these two swatches i have left a playlist in the description box down below this was our first swatch which is your basic double crochet this which was our second which is kind of very lacy gorgeous fillet if you will um, fillet that's what they call it and this is going to be the one we're making today our third swatch and as you can see it's a gorgeous love heart. We are using Spot Saver Yarn USA Style. Uh, it is 100% acrylic and you will only need about 20 or 21 grams is pretty much all I used for that piece. Uh, it is a red. You can use any color you like. It does call for the 5mm hook, which is why I am using a 5mm hook. You will need your scissors, stitch markers, two of them, and a darning sewing weaving needle because you have two ends to weave in, one from the beginning and one in the end somewhere where I've weaved it up there somewhere. All right, so that's that. It's a very, um, it's I say it's a basic stitch, but it is a lot of counting. So you've just got to be prepared to watch your count, all right? Because sometimes if you mess up the count on one side, the whole side over here will be out of whack as well. Or on the top or on the bottom, it will be out of whack, okay? So make sure you focus on your counting. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I know we're all thinking, oh, not the counting, but it's not difficult. It is just a double crochet stitch and a chain. Literally, that is all it is. All right, guys. So I'm not going to talk anymore because once again, this tutorial goes for a long time. <laughs> I'm just going to let you get started making your gorgeous love heart swatch. Good luck, guys. To start with, you'll need to form a slip knot. And a slip knot is just grabbing your tail end, wrapping it around your finger once and twice, holding it there and holding it down there. Pass your back loop halfway over, hold it there. Pass the other loop all the way over your finger, grab your hook and give everything a tug. Making sure you have enough tail to weave in at the end, okay? All right, let's get a nice close up. That's better. All right, so what we're going to do is chain 30, okay? So a chain is your yarn over your hook, pull a loop through once, yarn over twice and three and four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty and i'll let you all catch up okay and this is what you should have all right, just 30 chains, like so. Okay. And from here, you put your yarn over your hook, just counting that stitch you see right in front of you, right there. One, two, three, four, five. And in your sixth chain, which is that loop right there, just the one loop there, we'll do that again. So one, two, three, four, Five, and in your sixth one you are putting a double crochet and you've got your yarn over your hook pop it in that little one loop there pull a loop through one two three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two and that's what you should have literally that means a double crochet and a chain and then a double crochet and then we're doing a chain one and here, these are all your stitches, okay? So ordinarily, we would put a double crochet in every one of those little loops that you see. But for fillet crochet, you are always skipping the one stitch. So what we're going to do, we've chained our one. We're skipping the first one you see in front of you. And you're going to put a double crochet in that stitch there. Remember, that's yarn over your hook. 
pop it in the stitch, pull a loop through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Chain one. And that's pretty much all you're going to do for the whole row. So skipping one, don't forget your yarn over your hook, skip one, jump into your next with your double crochet. Like so. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. All right, so if you are an avid crocheter and, you know, intermediate, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> you can head off on your own and go as fast as you can and we will meet you up there in a moment, okay? For the rest of us, I just realised I was going too fast. Sorry, guys. <laughs> For us newbies here, I'm not so much a newbie, but I'm speaking on your behalf. Um, <laughs> keep going, as you can see, like so. Chaining one. You should end up with exactly a double crochet in your last stitch at the end of the row. Okay? Chain one. Skip one in the next. Chain one skip one in the next now just be weary of your tension if one of your stitches are smaller than the other you may accidentally miss two or not even miss one okay so just be weary about that tension chain one skip jump into the next all right i'm near the end i'm actually at the end now chain one if you get to the end and you've only got one chain then you need to check where you've gone wrong i have one there and one right there all right so we are skipping that chain like we would normally do and then jump into your very last chain with your double crochet and i'll show you what you have so far all right that's what you have now naughty me didn't put a stitch marker here so when we get back there it may be difficult for you to um find that stitch but once you do you know what you're doing okay i'll remember in this row i'm so naughty <laughs> <laughs> so from here you need to turn your work now it doesn't matter which way you turn that way or the other way just remain consistent for me to remain consistent I need to remember what I've done so I always make sure I turn like I'm turning the page in a book like so and that that reminds me that's the way we're going to turn now ordinarily I would chain up three here we're not going to do that what we're going to do here is we're going to pop a single crochet in that stitch right there okay up here in there these are your stitches on top of your posts are your stitches and you've got your two loops your front loop and your back loop they are your stitches all right usually you're popping it through the stitch so here you're going to pop a single crochet in that stitch right there so holding on just pop your hook in that stitch pull a loop through and you should have two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two and now we're going to do a single crochet on the side of this last loop so you've got your one loop there and one there so you pop your hook in that loop furthest from you pull up a loop you should have two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two now if you have a stitch marker then you can do this part if you don't you can use thread uh, paper clip hairpin whatever so you grab that top loop there and the loop at the back so you're actually grabbing the two loops you are grabbing the stitch all right you don't have to if you don't want your stitch markers you don't have to i use them to make it easier for anyone who is new to crochet okay and from here you're going to chain one yes and you're going to skip that chain space right there and you're going to jump right into the top of that next stitch that you come to with your double crochet now you know how to do that because you did them in the other row yes chain one double crochet in your next stitch so you're skipping your big gap space there chain one and you're doing that all the way across your row i'll get that nice close up for you so you can see it see that stitch right there you are popping your hook if you really spread it you can actually see the space right there so you're popping your hook in the space of the stitch all right so just keep going chain one jumping into the next stitch with your double crochet chain one jumping into the next stitch with a double crochet chain one next 
chain one. Actually, I might bring it up a little bit. You can see a bit better there. And next. Remember to chain one in between stitches. And next. If you don't chain the one, you won't get the, um, the little lace look that we're looking for. Okay, chain one. Next stitch. Chain one. And that's your last stitch before all those chains. So you're going to, actually I'll get a nice close up here for this part. Right there. That's your last stitch and then you've got all those chains there. So grab your hook and do your normal double crochet in that last stitch first. Chain one. Now this is where I should have put a stitch marker in there and I'll show you that in a minute. In fact, I might show you that with a little needle so you can see going on there there is one stitch right oops sorry about that get that out of the way that's better there is one stitch which will be your chain one before you jump into your next stitch which is right there so these are your chain six from before yes well chain six remember we did a double crochet in the sixth chain down there well that's what that is so you're going to skip that first little chain and then you're jumping into the next with a double crochet and I'll show you that now. So you're not going in that stitch right there. You are skipping it and you are doing your double crochet in your very next stitch. Make sure you chained one before you did this. Okay, and I'll just show you what you did so you know where you're at. All right, giving your work a little tiny bit of a stretch. Not a lot, you don't want to stretch it completely, but there you go. All right, that's what you should have at the moment. All right, now this is where the pattern changes, okay? And it's going to change in almost every round. I think there's one round where you get like two rows the same, but otherwise it's going to change in every round, all right? So it's gonna be a tad tricky, but not completely difficult. So newbies, you can do this. Like you would normally do at the end of each row, turn your work any way you like. I've turned it like I turned my page in a book, okay? And in that first stitch, you're doing that, that very first stitch that we did before with the single crochets. So you've got one single crochet in the stitch, right there, one. And now we're gonna pop a single crochet in that second loop. Remember, not that first one, because you'll unravel what you just did. But right in that second one there, pulling your loop through, and you should have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, holding it there, grabbing your second stitch marker if you have one you don't again you don't have to use them if you know where you're popping your hook at the end of the row but i like to use them for um, newbies for those of you joining us new by the way welcome <laughs> all right so there's your double crochet well it's not a double crochet it's your single crochet on top of your single crochet but that will keep your edges nice and straight this particular stitch so you're chaining one jumping into your very next stitch with a double crochet chain one one in the next now remember we're going to be changing patterns here so be very careful so we'll classify that as one double crochet two three chain one do a fourth one chain one do a fifth one remember we're skipping over all those chains chain one I'm sorry guys, this is really close, isn't it? Do a sixth one. Chain one. Do a seventh one. And that's all I want you to do. And don't chain. Just pull up the loop. You don't have to, I will. I'm pulling up the loop for a minute to show you exactly what we've done. Because this is where you're going to start your love heart. Now if you, you start at one stitch earlier or one stitch over the whole thing's going to be crooked and you won't notice until the very end when you're right up the top <laughs> so really stay focused you should have those single crochets there as one double crochet two three four five six and seven you should have left one two three four five six seven all right i hope that made sense <laughs> And of course that's too close <laughs> i'm doing well all right now you have your normal space here to form the start 
of our love heart this is the bottom part of our love heart you need to not skip that space anymore you need to do a normal double crochet not chaining anything just do a normal double crochet in the space just around all the stitches like normal okay then you do your double crochet in your very next stitch like that so what you should have here is your double crochet on top of your double crochet one in the space and one on top of the next double crochet now chain one go back to your pattern jump to your next double crochet and do the pattern all the way across the row with your just chain one and double crochets all right this part is easy because we know what we're doing here chain one and the next one chain on your next chain on and now you have that special single crochet stitch that we had earlier all right and we've popped our stitch marker in there okay now if you um if this confuses you don't use your stitch marker but for me and for uh, those of you who are new really is a good idea to use it so you're doing a double crochet in the top so you're going in that stitch where your stitch marker is okay so take out that stitch marker once your hook is in and then just complete your double crochet so all that stitch marker is doing is showing you where to put your double crochet so i'm going to pull up the loop to show you what we've done all right and what you should have is that you should have bring it out a bit more you should have your one two three four five six and your sevens should be there you should have one in between the seven now i hope that makes sense okay again don't stress if you make any mistakes we can talk about it on our live on wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m or saturday morning at 10 a.m and that's melbourne australia time okay so what we're going to do now is like we usually do turn our work easy yeah now with the pattern all right we're still going to continue the beginning of our rows with a single crochet in your first stitch is that too far now there you go single crochet in your first stitch my tight stitch <laughs> like so don't do them tight like me and then single crochet in that side loop right there yes ah don't forget your stitch marker like yours usually does in most of my tutorials don't tell anyone Shh, our secret and you're chaining one and again you are following the pattern but not all the way across you go one chain one go into the second one chain one into your next chain one into your next chain one and yours truly has lost track <laughs> one two three four five now we're going to jump into the next with a double crochet into the sixth one with a double crochet and then hold it there now remember before we did it on our seventh stitch and we want to start making our love heart grow to the sides so from here we're not going to chain one we're going to do a double crochet in that space right there okay like so then we now have to start putting double crochets in the stitches across so yarn over your hook double crochet in that very first stitch you come to which is right there maybe red was not the right one to use here but um i do want to use red for a love heart <laughs> i just think it's more appropriate you could use pink yarn over your hook double crochet into your second double crochet yarn over double crochet into the third double crochet yarn over and double crochet into that very last space there double crochet into your next stitch and from here you are chaining one chain one and then you're doing your pattern all the way across the row Okay. 
sorry about the noisy stitch markers it happens in every tutorial I drag along the wood the table <laughs> or the frame that I've got here all right so I'm at the end of the row and there's my chain and that's the stitch I need to put my double crochet in so I pop my hook in there take out the stitch marker whoops, and complete the double crochet Oops, don't lose a stitch like I just did, as you do. So let me show you that there, all right? So you can start to see the love heart is growing, okay? So what are you going to do here? You are going to turn your work again like normal, except you should be ready. <laughs> Mary, <laughs> you should be ready. All right, here we go. So you're popping your hook in that very first stitch hopefully again yours isn't as tight as mine pull a loop through and you're doing your single crochet one and again you're doing a single crochet in that side loop not both the stitches or you'll unravel your work just the side loop right there making your little single crochet nice and tall so you can pop a stitch marker in there okay well, I don't know if I've split that stitch, but uh, I'll find out later. I did. <laughs> I'm doing well already. Okay. That <laughs> should be okay. We'll find out later. Eh? <laughs> I'm doing well. All right. So chaining one. Double crochet in your first. Chain one. Double crochet in your next. Chain one. Double crochet in your third, chain one, and double crochet in your fourth, holding it there once you're done. All right, so we've come to that section again, but there's a space before it. That's where you put your first double crochet in that space. No chaining here. And then you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets so you need to put in seven double crochets across one two three four five six and seven and after you do the seventh one, you need to pop a double crochet in that space, eight, and then one more in there, nine. And then you start your pattern again. Chain one, double crochet in your next stitch, chain one, and the next, chain one, and the next. Chain one, and your very last goes in that little stitch marker or stitch right there. Now, if you forget to take it out like I did, that doesn't matter. All you need to do is remember to take it out once you're done. Okay. All right. So that's exactly what you should have. Let me show you far away. You can start to see that love heart forming, or the lines at least forming there. Bring it out until you can see it better. How's that? Ta-da! Is it looking gorgeous? All right. Now, once again, you are going to flip your work. Okay. Single crochet in that first stitch. One. And one in your side loop right there. Two. Oh, grabbing your stitch marker. I worked out why I split it because I do it so tight. <laughs> Don't do your stitches so tight, guys. Seriously. <laughs> All right. So chaining one. Double crochet in your first double crochet that you'll come to. Chain one. Double in that second one. Chain one and double in the third. And this is where you're going to stop. Because you have your double crochets along here, no chaining, we are going to pop our double crochet in that space just before your double crochets. So pop one in the space. And then you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11 double crochets. So you actually have to do 11 across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Then you are popping another one in that space before your next double crochet. So pop one in there in the space and then pop one in the stitch and then you're doing your pattern across. Chain one, double crochet in your next double crochet, chain one, double in your next, chain one and you're doing your double in that last stitch where your stitch marker is and I didn't split that stitch before which is good and I've left a stitch marker in there which is bad. <laughs> You like that? <laughs> All right. So let me show you what you have. See, you're starting to see. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try it again. There you go. You're starting to see that love heart. It is looking gorgeous. All righty. Now, you're actually going to like this row. Now, this row, the reason I say that is when we do um, our double crochet there and then we do our double crochets across and then we do a double crochet there, you're going to do that row three more times. Okay, so I'll show you what you need to do first. Oh, firstly, you are turning your page in your book. If you are turning it the same way I am, pop your single crochet in that stitch one, do your side single crochet, grab your stitch marker and popping it in there. All right, chain one. Jumping into the first double crochet with your double crochet. Chain one. Jumping into your next one with your double crochet. All right, so that's where you are at there. All right, now you've got your space before all these double crochets. You are just going to pop a double crochet in there. One. And let me count how many you've got now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So you've got your two double crochets there. And now you need to pop 15 double crochets across. One, two, three, four. Five. Sorry, I will slow down. My apologies there. I found myself rushing. <laughs> oh dear. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, and 15. And then you have your space. Pop your double crochet in there. And then you double crochet in your next stitch. And then you continue your pattern, which is not much. Chain one, skip that space, jump into your next double crochet. Chain one, jumping straight into your stitch marker stitch, right there. And again, I forget to take it out. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It'll come out. All right. Now, this row here, all you're doing for the next three rows is your double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crocheting all the way across these double crochets. Get there, do your chain one, double crochet, chain one and double crochet. All right, but I'm going to start you off so you know what you're doing exactly. You're not repeating this row, you're just repeating this 
particular pattern, if that makes sense, yeah? All right, so remember to... Oh, too quickly. Turn your page in your book. Okay. All right, now you're doing your single crochet in that first stitch like you would in any other row. Side single crochet. Like so. Popping in your stitch marker. All right, chaining one. Jumping into that double crochet, the first one you come to. Chain one. There's your chain space again. You're jumping into your first double crochet like so and then you are just doing your double crochets all the way across and I'll just speed this little process up for a second So here we are, getting closer to the end of these double crochets. There's your last double crochets before you continue your pattern. So pop your double crochet in that last one. And then do your pattern. One. Chain one. And then pop it in your stitch marker stitch. Like that. I'll oh, take out that stitch marker, Naughty Mary. <laughs> All right. So what you have done now is you are forming the, by, you know, doing it this way where you're doing exactly the same as the row before, you are forming the sides of your heart. And in a couple of more rows, you are going to form the point in the middle, which I'll explain that to you then. All right. But what I would like for you to do right now is repeat these two rows that we just did well this repeat this row exactly repeat that two more times and meet me back here so that we can change uh, the pattern to start forming the center of your hearts all right so go ahead do this row two more times and i'll meet you back here in a moment all righty guys this is where you should be right now. You should have 10 rows up and you can count that by just looking at them. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you don't have 10 rows, uh, just check where you've gone wrong. You should have one, two, three, four rows exactly the same. That might help. All right. And, and what we're going to do now is just turn our work like we would normally turn your work and we are now going to start forming uh, the center of your love heart okay so just popping your single crochet in that stitch like normal and I've done mine really tight yet again doing your side stitch don't do them tight guys I'm pre-warning you <laughs> don't do them tight all right pop your little stitch marker in there I don't know if I split that stitch but it doesn't matter don't forget to chain your stitch there doing your double crochet in your normal stitch like normal chain one and in that stitch like normal okay what we're going to do here is actually have nine double crochets across and then we're going to form one of these little chain stitches in the middle and then do another nine double now you've already done one double crochet there so you just need another eight so just do eight double crochets across one two three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. But including our first one we did, that would be nine. So you've got your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here is where we change the pattern to make that space in the middle there. So you're chaining one, like you would normally do over here. So you've chained your one. Now normally we would have done our double crochet in there in this round, but we're gonna skip that stitch, the first one we come to, and then go into the second one. So you're skipping your first and you're going straight into the second one with your double crochet. Okay, and then 
another eight double crochets so all together you've got nine so two I'm counting all together sorry three four four five six seven eight and nine all right if you counted eight then you need to get that last one in there nine all right so it should actually even up to both the sides of your finishing part if that makes any sense the next round will be different yet again okay but in the meantime you're chaining one and you're just jumping into your very next double crochet so this is a repeat stitch chain one jumping into your last stitch like so okay don't forget to take out that stitch marker uh, there we go all right now this row definitely going to change on the sides as well as in the middle okay so be very wary about this row okay this is where people can make mistakes even i've made mistakes in this round but it's not difficult it's just you've got to remember where to um, bring your double crochets into okay so you do your normal single crochet there your side stitch right there grabbing your little stitch marker Rooney <laughs> I forgot I forgot I'm on air <laughs> chain one I'm a duffer all right um, you are jumping into your very next double crochet like normal chain one jumping into your next double crochet like normal and here's where it changes okay you're chaining one you're skipping that first double crochet and you're jumping straight into your next double crochet so you formed another space like you did here with the center space you formed a new one okay all right so you've already got one double crochet here you need to do another four double crochets across so one two three and four okay and now you're wondering okay but there's a double crochet there yes we're going to do another one of these spaces so chaining one skipping that double crochet jumping directly into your next one chaining one now you're skipping your space jumping into your next double crochet chaining one now you're skipping that first double crochet jumping into your next double crochet all right and now you're going to do four double crochets across one two three and four and what you should have are those two so what you're going to do is form another one of the spaces like we did on that side you're going to chain one skip the first double crochet jump into your second double crochet chain one keep going with the pattern across okay chain one and your pattern in the stitch right there all right i'm just going to pull it up to show you let me take out the stitch marker okay so there you are whoops <laughs> wake up mary you have actually finished the heart you need to do a couple of more rows of this but you have actually finished your heart it doesn't look like it yet it will you know sort of does really it does but it will look better once you do those next two rows get excited guys because these next two rows are simple flip your work and let's go i'm sorry too far away okay single crochet in your stitch like so and again in that side stitch all right grabbing your stitch marker Rooney. oh i forget i'm on the air still oh dear <laughs> chain one <laughs> okay now this this row can be tricky if you don't do your count right but your count should be okay so you're skipping that space and you're doing a normal double crochet in your next stitch chain one jumping into your next stitch remember we're skipping those spaces chain one skip the space jump into your next double crochet all right now here we have to form our spaces all right 
see some of the stitches do not have spaces so you're going to form them chain one skip that double crochet jump into your next double crochet with your double crochet chain one skip the first one jump into that last one right there before your next space chain one there's your space we're skipping it jumping into your very first double crochet you come to chain one there's your space you're jumping into the very first double crochet you come to chain one skip that space jumping into that first double crochet and now you're going to chain one skip the first double crochet and jump into your next one chain one skip that double crochet and jump into your next one chain one oh, easy pattern across all the way and you know what you're doing with that because it should be the same as the, the row below you okay chain one and jumping into that last oh that one's that yarn I just split oh dear me I put the stitch marker in crooked oh dear I can't take me anywhere all right let's pop that through there that's better all right whoops now if you look at your love heart from far away let's try that again from far away you'll start to see it even though we're not finished yet you will be able to see that love heart right there i know i can see it all right so let's continue popping your uh hook in flipping the work and away we go with a single crochet side single crochet this row should be very very easy you may not even need this stitch marker but I'm popping it in anyway just for consistency sake chain one it should be so easy all you need to do is repeat the row we just did jumping into every double crochet chain one and every double crochet let me speed this row up for you and we'll get to the very end of the row but that is all you are doing okay all right so you should be near the end of the row right here chain one and i think i might have split that stitch again yeah i'm going to take that stitch marker out i'm very naughty aren't i very very naughty <laughs> yarn over and popping your last stitch that is correct guys your last stitch pull a loop through make sure before you do this part of cutting that you are correct go and check your work i'm not going to because i checked mine off air and i know that it's correct and there you go you have your gorgeous love heart all right it's a little bit tight in some ends and a little bit loose in the other just giving it all a nice big tug 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 all right and then have another look ta-da gorgeous let me take that out i said you didn't need it in there i just wanted to make it look like there was more rows <laughs> i'm very naughty <laughs> so let's uh, i am very naughty aren't i grab our original pieces now you might find that red one will be a little bit too tight and i'll explain that to you in a minute that's your they start to shrivel up a bit as they go along anyway <laughs> <laughs> if you don't use them much and there you go well it's pretty much the same it's as close as close as I'm going to get it okay now let me show you the original that I firstly made uh, before we started doing our swatches this was something I started doing for um, oh, what is it? what is the name ah, Harry Styles that's the one <laughs> I'd already forgotten now have a look at this one it does look better in the window look about it like the very lacy look about it but check out the sides look at the sides I did it the original version right but look at the size the sides of this nice gorgeous single crochet version nice and straight and look at that all bubbled and and all over the place now it does look bigger because I had to cut 
two sides off because this piece was far too big for our original swatches. Okay, check that out. <laughs> so that's why this swatch may look a tiny little bit smaller. But I'm not too worried because if it's a tiny, tiny, like a little millimetre off, tiny, tiny little millimetre off, we can stretch it, wash and block it and stretch it to size. Okay, and in fact, it's not even that much difference. Okay, what you should have is, I forgot my measuring tape, but you should have 20 centimetres this way and 20 centimetres this way. That's uh, 7.8 something inches or roughly 8 inches one side and one, roughly 8 inches the other. All right, so that's what you should have. Oh, it's the wrong way. Okay, how can you tell the right way to the wrong way? Your first double crochet row initially should be the front of your work normally okay and normally i would say it is and it still is here but sometimes with this piece because we've only done the 10 rows this way that a lot of people would find that row there the last row that we did as the right side but it doesn't matter in this case because we are going to be joining our squares differently anyways so it doesn't matter and when you are working this way over and over and over and you're turning you're turning you're turning there's no real right or wrong way okay but i will show you towards the end how to notice the difference all right in the meantime we're going to quickly weave in one end all right so just thread your needle any way you like as long as it threads all right now you just need to decide which way is your wrong side and which way is your right it doesn't really matter yours truly is going to do them along the sides here because i'm going to be crocheting over these and so are you when we do our border so all you're doing is finding some stitches to go into and i'm just going to go into some stitches you can split them like i just did if you want or you can just go in and out of stitches like that but I am going to be splitting yarn remember after you I'm sorry <laughs> try before before you do this splitting you must make sure all your work is right because taking this undone is going to be very very difficult okay so just just a bit of a heads up there when you start splitting yarn it, you cannot take this undone <laughs> if I've tried it I've actually cut my work to try and get it undone if you don't want to split yarn just weave it in and out of some stitches and that's okay yours truly is very very naughty don't tell anyone <laughs> and you do that in and out a few times you can do it twice you can do it three times you can do it four whatever you please I usually do it roughly around three times I might just give that a bit of a tug make sure that's in place oh that didn't go through very well did it okay there you go all right and then all you're doing grabbing your little scissors and giving your work a cut you know what i'm not going to show you that second one i think you know what you're doing guys and if you're not sure you can actually uh look at some of our past tutorials especially if you pop um down into our description box here you will see a playlist to all of and i'm rushing now just to get it all in for you all of our squares that we are doing I should say swatches that we are doing for our um oh, get it right Mary for our swatch blanket for 2021 all right so thank you so much for watching but don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys already do for me and all I want to say right now is ah oh, happy crocheting to you <laughs> ciao for now